new video of a police chase in the Northland that lasted more than 30 minutes has just been released. The chase began and ended in Platte County, but at some points went as far as East Liberty. KBC 9's Matt Evans has more on the chase that killed a man and seriously injured another. Well, this video shows you just how wild that chase was. The suspect darting in and out of traffic on highways and back roads before slamming head on into oncoming traffic on I 29. The wreckage from the two mangled cars lay 100 yards apart, showing just how forceful that impact was. Deputies say Justin Burkholder stole the red truck and several guns from a home in Platte County before the chase began. A few minutes after the pursuit started near the airport, Burkholder veered into oncoming traffic on I-435. Deputies tried using stop sticks several times, but Burkholder zoomed past. Reaching speeds of nearly 100 miles an hour on highways and barreling 70 miles an hour through residential neighborhoods. Burkholder continued darting in and out of traffic until he got on I-29 going the wrong way in Platte City. This video from the Kansas City Police helicopter shows his last few moments before the impact. When deputies arrived, it was already too late. Burkholder died on the scene and the driver of the other car he hit was taken to the hospital with critical injuries. I did talk to the family of the man driving that tan suburban that Burkholder hit last week. They say he is still in the hospital, but improving every day. Deputies say that Burkholder had several warrants out for his arrest in both Kansas and Missouri.